classical elements in Greek, air, fire, earth, and water, and the ether that held them all together. The Japanese had these same four elements held together by a void. In Tibetan, the four elements were held together by the ether as well. In alchemy, the four elements of air, fire, earth, and water were held together by the ether, and they included sulfur, mercury, and salt as well. In Persia, which is Iran, described the four elements of earth, water, air, and fire as sacred, and it's essential for the survival of all living beings. Aristotle added the fifth element of the ether. It's also been called Akasha in India. In Babylonian mythology, the use of four gods that were personified as the cosmic elements, water, earth, sky, and wind, other Babylonian texts, text, these phenomena are considered independent of their association with deities. In India, a system of elements are found in the Vedas. The elements are earth, water, fire, and wind. The Akasha is also found in these Vedas, which is the ether or the void. In Buddhism, the great elements four elements of earth, water, fire, and air. The Musica Mundana, segment of the macrocosm, showing the elements, spheres of earth, water, air, and fire. Robert Flood in 1617. The geometry of the tetrahedron represented the fire. The cube represented the earth, the octahedron, air, isohedron was the water, and the universe is represented by the dodecahedron. The angles of these geometric shapes all have significant meaning. And this is why I feel all these cultures in ancient times were using these uh, water, air, earth, and fire as the essential elements because they knew just how special the uh, geometry and the angles of these uh, geometric shapes are. And in between here we have the uh, a man with five points, the pentagon, the ether, holding it all together in a sphere. The periodic table and the four elements of oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus as well. These elements or what creates all life on Earth. The human body is composed of four elements that take up 96% carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. And there's some trace elements as well. But the big four, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen, make up the human body. Alchemy included uh, uh, sulfur and sodium. On December 10, 2013, two of the physicists, Peter Higgs and Francois Englert, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for their theoretical predictions the Higgs boson called the God Particle that produces matter out of the ethereal nothingness. 
In Greek, athain, a verb meaning to ignite or to blaze is the origins of the word. The hypothesis formula to create mass out of what is considered formless space the ether in theoretical physics was proven in 2012. A date inscription in the Maya long count interpreted as December 21, 2012. The actual hypothesis of the ethereal existence the Higgs boson field formula was proven using the European Organization for Nuclear Research, known as CERN, a European research organization that operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. Established in 1954, the organization is based in a northwest suburb of Geneva on the Franco-Swiss border and has 23 member states. Cernanos is the conventional name given in Celtic studies to depictions of the formed god of Celtic polytheism. Cernanos was a Celtic god of fertility, life, animals, wealth, and the underworld. The name itself is only attested once on the first century pillar of the boatman, but he appears all over Gaul, and among the Celtiberians, Cernanos is depicted with the antlers of a stag, seated cross-legged, associated with animals, and holding or wearing torques. This deity is known from over 50 examples in the Gallo-Roman period, mostly in northeastern Gaul. Thirty-seven is the twelfth prime number. Seventy-three is the twenty-first prime number. Anagram numbers. The word always flows toward Israel. The nations west of Israel right from left to right. The nations east of Israel right from right to left. When viewing the sum of seventy-three and thirty-seven, from right to left, the first three numbers of the Fibonacci sequence appear. Out of nothing, the ether, came the one. The one duplicated itself. One and one is two. One and two is three. Two and three, five. Three and five, eight. Five and eight is thirteen. Eight and thirteen, twenty-one. Thirteen and twenty-one, thirty-four. Twenty-one and thirty-four equals fifty-five. Thirty-four plus fifty-five is eighty-nine. 55 plus 89 is 144, special number. 89 plus 144 is 233. This is called the Fibonacci sequence. This is how nature works. This is in the botanical kingdom. The botanical kingdom uses this to optimize uh, water for each leaf as well as the uh, light. Phylotaxis. It strives to perfection. So when you divide, uh, say uh, we go from, uh, let's see what this one is here, 3 divided by 2, 1.50. So we're going to try uh, 8 divided by 5, 1.6. Now here we'll say. Uh, 21 divided by 13. See, it goes closer and closer to a ratio. So we're going to say uh, 55, oh, 55 divided by 34, 1.618. So this is 5, the golden ratio, the golden mean. So as you get closer and closer to 5, it gets more perfect. Phi equals 1.618. The Fibonacci sequence. Christ, when using the English septenary cipher, the product of the value of the letters is 18,900. The square root of 18,900 is 137.5. That is phylotaxis, which is the arrangement of leaves on a plant stem in the botanical kingdom. If you sum total 1 plus 8 plus 9 plus 0 plus 0, it has a sum total of 18, which equals chai, life in Hebrew. The digital root value equals 9.